Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and uh, in this very late December day we're doing a quick walk around video on this very very nice uh, Rapido uh, 7099F. Now this is the very last video we're doing for 2021. It's been a record breaking year uh, and a chaotic year in the motor caravan industry and uh, during this year we've been lucky enough I think to buy this Rapido. It's a van which came down to me at Highbridge Devon from a Somerset branch and uh, I think this was a buy-in because it's got loads of kit left with it which is great for the next owner in fairness to it. So if you're a first time buyer uh, you'll find most of the bits and bobs that you need already with it. Now Rapido they are France's arguably and I think factually France's best um, motor caravan manufacturer they are the head of a group who own all sorts of other companies from Westphalia to Wild Axe and Dreamer and various others um, but this is a uh, 7099F which is their French bed it's a side fixed bed low profile so no over cab bed uh, end washroom model it is a luxury high-end low profile fixed bed full-size touring weapon and a very very high quality one these these uh, top of the range rapidos i would put them up there with anything from your Heimers, Deathless, Bursners, Adrias, that sort of thing. They're right up there in the premium European class. So this is a 56 plate, um, but it's uh, I think it's a 2007 registration. Definitely a 2007 model because that was the first year of what they call the new shape cab. Uh, we've just reduced this one to 31.95, which is um, a good value thing for its quality. And uh, yeah, let's have a little walk around it. So the window sheet has fell off because it's been cold, so the sticky tape's come unstuck but there we go so this is a 7099F Alco chassis 2007 fixed side bed end washroom four berth three seat bolts uh, currently plated at 3.7 tonne I suspect we could downplate this but we would have to weigh it so if you don't ever see one on your driving license so if you passed uh, after 1997 and you don't want to upgrade your license or you're over 17 and you don't want to take a medical to get your C1 back we might be able to re-register this down to 3,500 kilo depending on how much it weighs uh, but currently it's 3.7 and if you've got the driving license to drive it that gives you a bigger payload and cheaper road tax keep it at that it's a feature Cato special order 3 litre manual this one so it's a 3 litre engine fantastic it's an Aveco engine bulletproof Pulls like a train, 160 horsepower, six speed manual, awesome. And because it's not working very hard, you'll get really good fuel economy out of that as well. Done 41,000 miles, which is nice mileage for one of its age, 14 year old, so it's a good average mileage. It's been used a little bit, but not too much. 7.39 long, 2.35 wide, 2.79 high, so it's a normal full size touring van. 31,995, and that will include a new MOT. A full engine service, we'd change the cambo if it had one, but these three litres are chain driven, so nothing to worry about there. Full habitation service and our own in-house 12 month warranty, which covers everything that's factory fitted on the van, including damp, leaks and water ingress, which none of the aftermarket warranties do that all the other dealers give you, but we warranty out of our own pocket. So we'll back up our own van. So we'll have a, have a walk around it now. Uh, any little bits and bobs, negative bits, I'll point out. It's 14 year old. It's going to have some marks and dinks and things on it. Uh, if we're being picky, nothing wrong with this. But it's a slightly foggy headlight. Or is it just a headlight cover? I don't know. It's nothing wrong with it. But they can just go like that with age. Um, You've got these nice mirror guards, which I think are the proper mirror guards rather than the Malenko ones. I might be wrong on that. Uh, to protect the mirrors. So they're plastic casings that go over the top of the, uh, the mirrors diesel goes in there flush fit double glazed windows or double glazed windows all the way around so these are obviously french vans but they're sold all over the world and they are suitable for skiing usage you've got truma combined heating and hot water which will run off gas or mains electric fresh water fill up point for your 100 plus litre fresh water tank that is located inside the van underneath that seat there so that will stop it from uh, from freezing up you got an external tv point there or possibly an external satellite point i suspect the only thing we'll find in this locker is the back of the boiler which is access for hitting the boiler drain i might be wrong yep there it is so that's your boiler drain for dumping the water out of your boiler for the winter time previous owner clearly an experienced motorhomer has wedged that over wedged that closed with a closed peg to stop it from annoyingly dumping your water when the temperature drops a little bit kitchen window bodywork wise very good in fairness to it very very good no dinks or scrapes or spider cracks that i can see so far uh, one of your bedroom windows at the back there this is your toilet locker 
but you've got a bit of storage in there as well this fan's got an external shower the hose for which is there uh, does have a SOG system well that's an external shower point in there as well take the cassette toilet does have a SOG system, um, I don't know if it's missing a pipe or something there, but the components of a SOG system are there, but we don't guarantee that. Anything that's been added aftermarket accessory wise are the only things we don't check or guarantee, which I think is the same with, with all dealers really. Rear quarters, normally pick up some damage over the years, that one hasn't. Looking up, these can suffer from high level cosmetic stress cracking in the trim, I can't see anything up there either, that's all good. High level reversing camera. Three bike bike rack, obviously showing signs of, of age because it's a 14 year old bike rack. Sliding window on the back, so you can still open the window at the back in your bedroom uh, or in your bathroom even, even with the bikes on, which is a good idea, good bit of thaw fort from uh, Rapido there. Factory fitted rear ladder to give you access to the roof to uh, clean it or sunbathe if you prefer. I mean, good quality vans, these are very, very solid things. Other corner, really good as well, excellent. So coming around to the offside, to the driver's side, it's a European van, so the habitation door is on the uh, offside, driver's side in this country, which obviously does, if it's a left-hand drive vehicle, this would be on the other side. Um, it's a low fixed bed, so you've got a lower storage locker, it's not a garage as such, but it's still a good size storage locker. Currently it's full of all sorts of things, you've got some real high quality silver screens in there, which are great, they're really expensive. Um, you got got what I think might be a safari room for the awnings, all your sides and the front for your wind out canopy that's up there yep yeah, that's a fiamma zip one that is so that means it's a normal canopy that comes out with your legs that come down just like a normal fiamma f45 but the edges of the canopy have got zips built into them and you can zip on these sides and the front now that just comes with the van we're not going to take it out and check it if it's missing a bit um, we're not going to sort of guarantee that but we'll leave it in there some dealers take everything out and throw them away or sell them on ebay we don't so everything that's in it will be left in it and you can have a have a play with it sell it do whatever and they're big money them things uh, i've got one myself they're very very good inside there also you'll find all your battery charges your leisure batteries underneath are there this one's got a solar panel on the roof as well um You've also got a, a wheeled waste master, so if you're staying on one pitch for a while. Alarm sensors, another aftermarket accessory, but it's got a, a, a meta alarm. I suspect it might be a Van Bits Growler, which is an upgraded meta alarm uh, fitted to it. Wastewater drain slung underneath there. And then another storage locker, so this is in the rear corner of the bathroom. It's a really big full height storage locker, which is very, very good. So you can take that shelf out and put tall people in there if you want. It's even left the water hose in there and the hose adapters, so it's all got everything you need. Actually, that just folds up that. You've got a light in there as well. So really good storage actually for a low bed. Plenty, plenty of storage. Yeah, Bodywork check, it's all good. A bit green this from being, um, being sat around. It seems to have escaped our valeters this one in fairness to it. So uh, I'll have to give it a detailed valet before it goes out. But it's not actual dirty, dirty inside or anything like that. It's not been smoked in or had a dog in that I can tell. So it'll clean up absolutely spot on. Fridge vents, got the optional winter covers on. Um, that will suck in cool air, that will blow out warm air and it will run off gas if you're not hooked up. Electric if you are hooked up um, and off the engine when you're driving. This must be a barbecue point because the other side was the external shower, so I presume this will be a gas barbecue point. Yes, it is. That's a handy thing. And then your gas locker at the front. It's a European van, and European vans are designed for 2011 kilo gas bottles. Um, if you're getting refillable bottles from Gasit or Gaslo fitted that you fill up from LPG pump then you can get 11s fitted but Calagas don't do 11s because we're British and we're awkward we like to be different from the rest of Europe so we do 13s that may or may not fit or 6s or 7s that definitely will um, so yeah big gas locker nonetheless bigger than the British ones so opening up the driver's door we've got what have we got Tell you what we haven't got, we've not got cab blinds. You get so used to all the vans having the Constantina blinds and uh, things on the cab that you kind of expect them all to have it, but of course they didn't back in the day. So this one's got curtains for going around the front, but you've also got those uh, external silver screens which you'd wrap all the way around the outside anyway. And that's what I've got on my van. I've not got cab blinds on my Bursner. Um, I just use the silver screens all the time. I've got exactly the same ones that this van's got and that's fine. So I wouldn't bother having cab blinds fitted. You've got the curtains which are cosier and the silver screens which will stop the condensation because this is it's glass, it's single glazed, it will condensate, so you'll need to use them even if you had concertina cab blinds. But it's funny to think that even today you get them in the cheap vans, whereas this was the flagship of the range and they weren't standard back in the day. Um, 
So a normal Fiat Ducato cab. Uh, I've had four Fiat based motorhomes myself. They're excellent, the bomb proof things, particularly this three litre, it's an absolute peach. It's a six speed manual gearbox. You've got cab air conditioning. I can't quite see if you've got cruise control there. That's a stalk, is that cruise? Yeah, you've got cruise control as well. Um, you've got this Camos reversing camera monitor, um, which are very, very good. Camos cameras are the best ones out there. And that's all in good condition. Oh, rapid old carpets are good quality thick things uh, the only thing you could say with rapido is they are classically styled but they're so well built in fairness to it but we'll see more from the inside but yeah you've got to like red but um you can retrim it if you want or just cover it up with some throws if it's not for you but the important thing is the van itself is very very good quality and in very very good condition actually I think it's been used but looked after this. Sliding window for the lounge, that's good because you can open your habitation door without breaking it. And it's also good because you can have it open when you're driving, which is handy for rear seat passengers if you've got a dog. I like the fact you've got a step built in. I wonder if this is Alco chassis. It's got an Alco plate on it. So looking underneath, what I can't see are leaf springs. So that means... Yeah, it's torsion bar suspension, uh, like a car, so that means it's an Alco chassis van, uh, which is why it's lower, so you're not having to climb up to get into it, uh, and also why it's very, very stable. So the actual chassis from there, backs done by Alco, the German high-end motorhome chassis manufacturer, which is very good. Uh, opening window in the door, central locked habitation door with a bin as well, fly screen door as well, which is great. Coming into the van, we've got a very spacious and luxurious layout so you've got a front lounge with a big skylight above it as you'd expect and then you're having a quick pirouette around towards the back you've got a big fridge freezer a surprisingly good kitchen a very very big side fixed bed with the advantage of the person on this side can still just about shuffle out while the other person's in bed without having to jump over them uh, and then a full width end washroom so it's it's a really good layout this that you don't tend to see quite so much anymore it's to an extent been overtaken by island beds and single beds however it, it makes a good use of space and it gives you a much better bathroom and it just flows really well it feels nice and roomy in fairness to it so let's go through it bit by bit so if we're being negative, as I say, they are classically so they've got this incredibly high quality, um, very, very tough and very, very comfortable, um, but thick red upholstery, which is probably something of its generation. But if you don't like it, change the curtains, stick some throws on it, spend 1500 quid getting it reupholstered. You can get really good quality Fiat Ducato tailored seat covers off of eBay or off of um, motorhomeseatcovers.com, really good company in Manchester, very good quality for about 80 quid. So you can transform this van if it's not for you. Personally, I like the decor, but each to their own. So big opening side windows, you've got some LED lights. That all LED, you know, ceiling lights are halogen, side ones are LEDs, crank up, hecky roof light, uh, table there. This is a three berth, I would call it, so the table will centralise and drop down, and then you can hash this into a, a good size single bed. Maybe you could call it a small double, I don't know, you'd get two kids in. You've got a couple of seat belts on your forward facing seats there, so this is all removable to turn it into a half dinette. Big storage. And big quality, you see the quality and the solidity of these. These are way better than even the newer Rapidos. Don't quite have this level, level of clunk anymore. So very, very good quality things. Carpet's got a few marks on it, but that's mainly because it's been down while it's been on display here. We'll wet vac them and that should come up all right. So your kitchen, Rapido have always been good to us in the UK. They're one of the few European manufacturers who give us an oven. So the Europeans aren't too bothered about ovens, so they don't tend to fit them. But for the UK, Rapido were one of the first companies to uh, fit us a decent size oven at a reasonable height. It's not all the way up there or all the way on the floor. So that's a combined Schmev oven and grill. And then you've got your normal three burner gas hob on top something else if you look at the thickness of that that's sort of solid or plywood but solid plywood anyway uh, for your sink there with some various spare parts that the previous owners have left in which is a sign that he's obviously been a enthusiast for the van stylish tap there controls for your heating system so it is gas and mains electric not just gas like some of the european vans of its time up here 
we've got your TV point. Oh, it's got an Avtex in it. That's cool. So it's got a modern Avtex TV in there. That's worth a few bob. Um, not the very latest one, but it's relatively recent. So that will just come out and then you can watch it from the bedroom or you can watch it from the front lounge. High level kitchen storage of a decent depth. And then really, really big kitchen storage. I mean, look at the depth of that. It's really big. And underneath for your essential wine bottle storage, two more drawers for pots and pans underneath the oven. Massive fridge freezer. You see it in a lot of vans now, but you didn't so much back when this was built. So really big three-way fridge freezer with more storage for pots and pans underneath. Above that, you've got even more storage. I mean, that's huge. I think a lot of people would probably ask us to fit a main socket in there so you could have a microwave. And if you want that, it should be possible. You could probably tap off the mains for the fridge and uh, fit it in there if you wanted to, wanted to carry a microwave in there. I dare say you could do the storage underneath there for your shoes and things. One thing I really, really like is this which I need two hands to do, but there's a solid, as you can see, partition door there, which will come all the way across, meet this, meet with this one to completely segregate the bedroom from the front. So the uh, ladies can use it as a, as a dressing area, um, or you've got a bit of privacy if there's a few of you uh, in the van at bedtime. And if you are using it as a dressing area, you've got this very, very nice little dressing table area, including a mirror, factory fitted, um, on the flip up bit there, which is very clever. I love little things like that. Just attention to detail and little ideas that show that they've tried. They've not just thrown it together. Lovely big picture window again, loads of storage there. A light here for the ladies or the gentlemen indeed to uh, to apply their makeup along with a, a main socket for the hairdryer. Really good idea. Massive wardrobe, floor to ceiling, really, really big. You've got a, a status, a TV area in there with the meter long pole, which is good as well, which I need to turn the booster off of, otherwise it will flatten the leisure battery. There we go. Loads of drawer storage in there as well. So that's the fixed bed that we saw underneath or from the outside. I'll see if I can lift it up on the inside. Mattress is in decent condition, but it's probably a few year old. There are companies out there who will make you brand new ones. So that's all your bits of your awning underneath of there. And your accessories and things which all come with the van, the clamping arms for the bike rack, it's all sorts of all sorts of treasure underneath it there. Big big storage all the way around there. If we're being negative, not a lot to be negative about, but that needs replacing. Uh, they just unscrew, so we'll of course replace that. Now looking around to the back, this catch oh, this catch is alright actually. Bathrooms, Rapido do fantastic bathrooms. I love Rapido bathrooms because they remind me a little bit of a 1920s uh, Italian Lake Garda yacht. They're fantastic. So you've got this leather effect. It's not leather, but it's leather effect. Um, worktop sort of kitchen, not kitchen space, bathroom space. Loads of floor space. The decking sort of feel to the floor as well, which is nice. Big mirror, big storage as well. Look at that, really good. Another big mirror there, You've got an extractor fan in the roof which will also suck in air to give you a bit of air movement and then you've got a really big separate shower space. That's a cracking bathroom. It's a cracking van actually, I was supposed to be finding some faults with it, there must be some. Uh, probably used to be something there that's been taken off, there we go, that's a fault. There must be some other faults in fairness to it, but um, I can't find much. It's a real good one. So um, this is our clearly cherished and tremendously high quality 2007 model Rapido 799, no, 7099 F. Um, I think the O means it's Alco chassis or the F means it's Alco chassis, one or the other. I, I can't, must remember to swat up on my, my sort of older Rapido terminology. But either way, it's at Highbridge Caravans Devon. It is a rapid old 7099F. It's priced at 31995 There's loads of interest in it now. Uh, do inquire with us at the Newton Abbott Devon branch of Highbridge Caravans. That's the 01626 number on the Highbridge Caravans website, or just Google us, Highbridge Caravans Devon, and ask us about our 31995 Rapid Old 7099F. It's got the solar panel, it's got, which I didn't mention, habitation air conditioning from Dometic, which we don't check or guarantee, but I have checked it and it does work, but we don't guarantee it or cover it by the warranty, but it's there, it's very expensive. It's got a solar panel, reversing camera, air conditioning, 
cruise control, it's got the amazing 3 litre engine, it's got a bike rack, it's got an awning, it's got lots of treasure underneath the bed, it's got a TV which we'll also leave in but we won't check, it'll come with a 12 month warranty, a new MOT, a full engine service, a habitation service and it's a really nice thing, uh, so Rapidel 7099F Hybrid Caravans at Devon Branch, thank you very much, goodbye.